ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Kim, and you're on my channel. Today, I am bringing you a quick and hopefully very useful video all about the new Minecraft Snapshot 14W02B, focusing this video, of course, on enchantment. There has appeared to be quite a bit of uh, confusion about, oops, sorry about that, confusion about the enchantment process. The new enchantment process is going to be happening in 1.8, so I'm going to try my best to add as much information into the stew as possible. I'm not at all saying here in this video that I know exactly how enchanting is going to work, but I do think that I have figured some things out that might be useful to share. So I'm just going to hop right in there. First thing I want to tell you guys is that a lapis lazulu is now useful. It's actually kind of incredibly useful, uh, depending on how high of a level you are. So first of all, I'll just show you the very basics of enchanting now. When you put in uh, your item, you see that I'm level 50, but I am not able to enchant any of these. They require lapis to actually enchant. So if you put one lapis in there, you can get this first level right there, notified by the, the number one, the second, and the third. So you can always call these based on uh, lapis level rather than enchantment levels. There's some interesting aspects about this too. So I'm just going to point the, them out to you. First of all, a uh, good thing is you can now read uh, what one of the enchantments are going to be. This does not mean that all of the, en if you get more than one enchantment, it's possible to get more than one enchantment, I should say. Uh, and we'll talk about that more later on. It only guarantees you one, though, and it only tells you what that one will be. So if I get this one, I know I'm getting power two. It's possible I get something else as well. So, for, uh, and then the biggest change, though, in this is with the level differences. So this right here you need to be level 13, enchantment level 13 to do. But if you see underneath the power 2 it says 2 lapis lazulu, that's how much it will require, 2 enchantment levels. So what this means is it's going to take 2 of my lapis out and only 2 of the 50 levels. Not 13, nothing else, just 2. This one would take 3. So no, I could enchant with this, 50 level 1s, assuming that you, you could go down to the level being as low as level 1, which you can. But instead of taking 8, this would take 1 enchantment level. This would take 2. This would take 3. So I'll just show you this. Take a look down here. 50 enchantment level right now. Going to get a level 2 right here. Went down to 48. Got power 2. Took away 2 lapis. So that's how, in general... Uh, these work. I'll show you one more time with this one. Efficient, efficiency 2, efficiency 2. So these guys are the same right here. So you might be tempted to go for the first one. And they are pretty close in level. But my thoughts, and I'm I'm uh, kind of assuming here, is that the higher le the level, the better chance you will get of a good random other enchantment. So right here, this one, the third one, says Unbreaking 3. When you click on this, you will get Unbreaking 3. You may get more. I've had as many as four total enchantments right here. It will only take three of my enchantment levels away. So take a look at the enchantment levels. 48, 45 now. Just got Unbreaking 3. That's, that's kind of strange. I normally seem to see more than that. This one has projectile protection 3 and unbreaking 2. That seems to be more the case. The higher the levels, you normally get either 2, 3, or even 4 enchantments, but it seems to be random. And that's what that's one of the things I wanted to talk about, is that it seems to be random as to this one. You will get Bane of Arthropods 2. You may get more. You will get Bane of Arthropods 2 on this one. You may get more, but you don't know. This one, you will get Fire Aspects 2, you may get more. You, you can't tell. So it's cool because you still have the randomness involved in there. Uh, but you, get, you do know the one of which you are going to get, which is, which is fantastic. So now what I also wanted to show you guys that I, um, that I saw with this is, is pretty interesting here. Um, just to give you some background, this one, Bane of Arthropods 2, Bane of Arthropods 2, Fire Aspect 2. Now another sword but wooden will have Bane of Arthropods 2, Bane of Arthropods 2, Fire Aspect 2. Diamond Sword, Smite 2, Bane of Arthropods 1, Fire Aspect. 
Other Diamond Sword, Smite 2, Bane of Arthropods 1, Fire Aspect. So these guys right here, these two diamonds are the same. They have the same available enchantments. The Iron Sword has different enchantments. The Wooden Sword has the same as the Iron Sword. I'm not entirely sure what changes the first enchantment probabilities that you have, but I will show you this. So here you have Smite 2, Bane of Arthropods 1, Fire Aspect 1, and the same for the other diamond, okay? If you enchant one of them, all right, got Smite 2 on that one, the other one will change. Now it's Smite 1, Smite 1, Smite 4. This guy, Smite 1, Smite 2, Smite 4. And this guy, Smite 1, Smite 2, Smite 4. So these guys are still going to get the same one. These two, this one has now changed. Smite 1, Smite 1, Smite 4. So now, if I enchant this one right here with Smite 2, this Iron Sword will get different ones now. Knockback 1, Sharpness 3, looting 2. And so will the diamond sword. Knockback 1, sharpness 2, looting 2. Actually, are those the same? Nope, they're not. Sharpness 3. Sharpness 3 versus sharpness 2. So as you can see, it seems that there are some weird connections between some of the different enchanting options that you have. So, if you don't like what you have to offer. Let's say that I don't want any of these. I don't want looting 2, I don't want sharpness 2, I don't want knockback 1. What I can do is I can put my iron sword in there, get the first level, which will only take one lapis and one enchanting level, got knockback 1, and now I have a totally different tier of enchantments for the other one, for the diamond, unbreaking 3, sharpness 2, or knockback 1. So, if you don't like what you have, you can enchant and it will change what the others are available to have. But the Iron Sword and the Wooden Sword seem to always have the same ones. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that was just chance. There are a lot that is still unknown about enchanting it, and it's going to be pretty cool discovering it. So I'm just going to enchant this real quick. Got Unbreaking 3. That was all on that one. So I enchanted 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven different items, and I went from 50, level 50, to level 36. 14 for seven different items. 14 levels for seven different items. That's crazy. That's that's cool. Uh, some Definitely some really cool changes happened to the enchanting uh, aspects. Uh, just really quickly to wrap it up, just going to review uh, what I was saying. Uh, Lapis is now useful. It takes... Uh, the enchanting level is based on the lapis used, not uh, based upon the actual level requirements. Um, if some items seem to have strangely the same available initially, but if you enchant something else, it will change the enchantment. So if you don't like what you have, enchant something else at level 1, or at the lowest lapis level, and it will change it for the next one. So I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, crazy crazy stuff happening in the snapshot so far some really cool different changes so i hope you guys found it useful as i said before please leave a like comment subscribe and all that good stuff i love like comments and subscribers Ugh. have a great day peace